Hello everyone! My free to play account is about to turn one year old, so it's time for another account review. In case you have seen my first one, I tried to keep the format roughly the same to make it easier to compare the progress between the two. And spoiler, it's actually not that different. First I will go quickly over my characters, weapons, artifacts and how much money I spent, which again is nothing, sorry like I said, I literally just copy pasted the format. And at the end I show every character I built in detail while listing some random facts about my account. Speaking of random facts, if you were to ask me about my three favorite characters, you see them in my party right now. You only see two, uh, I don't have Futao on this account. And it's not based on strength only, but also playstyle, aesthetics and personality, so yes, Ganyu no longer makes the cut, and I get a strong feeling that Yai might also shake things up again very soon. With that being said, let's get started. Let's kick things off with the characters. I have 5 limited 5 star characters, all of them at Constellation Zero. My first one, Eula, followed by Venti, Raiden, Ito and Zhongli. Out of these standard units, I have 3. Kiching Constellation 1, Mono Constellation 0 and Diluc Constellation 0. So you could say I'm fairly lucky with the 50-50 so far. Out of the 4 star characters, I have everyone except for Yunjin, Sayu, Shonyun and Toma. And one of the biggest differences between this and my other account is, so far I only have two Constellation 6 4 star units. On the other one, at the time of the video, I already had 9. In total, I have 16 characters built, not including the Traveler, 6 are fully ascended, 2 are at Ascension level 5, and 8 are at Ascension level 4. I have 10 crowns used, I triple crowned Eula, I triple crowned Ito, and I triple crowned Ningguang, and I single crowned Raiden Shogun. And I have 11 friendship level 10 units. And the actual biggest difference between my two accounts is the amount of 5 star weapons. On this one I have two, both of them level 90, refinement rank 1. On the other one I already had 7 and two of them are refinement rank 2. So I guess this is where most of the 500 bucks on the other account went and regarding 4 star weapons it's actually pretty similar. I have 12 of them at level 90, of which 6 are max refined. About artifacts, I have 111 at plus 20, again it's about the same as on the other account, and I'll put a breakdown of the sets I'm using on screen. I also won't go over every single artifact, but you will see the ones I'm using later when I go over the characters. I'm a little more casual on this account, so I'm not using an artifact optimizer, meaning I can't really talk about substant efficiency here. But if I had to name like my best artifacts, it's probably something like this cup, or this flower, or maybe this flower. How much money did I spend on Genshin Impact? Like I said, on my NA account I spent at this point a little over 500 euros, and that probably converts to somewhere between 550 to 600 USD. And on this EU account I didn't spend anything. Obviously I can't show you anything, um, you just have to take my word for it. I enjoy having the free to play perspective on this game, but that's obviously not the reason why I created this account, I just wanted to have more characters without spending more money. I considered buying the Waken Moon here, but at this point there are only 3 5 star characters left that I don't have across all my accounts. For if you include Yai Miko, so I don't feel the need to spend more money. Alright, now I will show every character I build. Feel free to pause when you are interested in a build and it's going too fast. Same as last time, while I do this I will talk about some random stuff related to this account, just so that there is something to listen to. A big difference between this account review and the last one is, the anniversary was during patch 2.1 I believe, so about half of the current Inazuma wasn't released yet, so there are a lot more chests and quests, which means way more one-time earnable primal gems and adventure rank experience. That being said, I'm also a lot more casual on this account. I completed most of the content in Liwei and Mondstadt. I do the Archon quest and time-gated things like events, daily commissions, Abyss, the weekly bosses, and the um, reputation missions, whatever they were called. But aside from that, I haven't explored Inazuma too much. To put this into numbers, my Sakura tree is still level 23, for example. When I started writing this, the account was 351 days old, which means I created it in patch 1.3. I remember the first lantern ride with the tower defense event to be the first thing I have done. I logged in every day, I don't think I overflew quite as much resin, which is also thanks to the 160 resin cap, which I believe was already implemented back then. My account is very similar in terms of character and artifact count, so again, there's no way to look this up, but to give you an estimate for my resin use, 
I think about 2% went towards ley lines, 3% weapon domains, 5% world boss, 5% talent books, and the vast majority at 85% towards artifact domains. As for farming, I never did any artifact farm runs in the open world, I never farmed crystal ore, but since I don't explore too much, I actually have to farm monster drops quite a lot. My last two characters were Ito and Zhongli, I can't tell you how much slimes I've been farming lately. <laughs> Now some random stats, I'm adventuring 57 at 144,000 experience, for reference the other account was at 212,000 experience at the time of that video. I have 322 achievements, I don't bother to farm them and the same goes for name cards, I just happen to get 32. I looted 1875 chests, which was actually more than the other account at 1712. The teapot, I finished the progression system and buy resin and artifact experience each week. I still didn't get too creative with it though. I stopped doing web events somewhere during patch 1.5 because I simply don't like them. <laughs> I ignored daily check-ins on the Mihoyo website from the start because the rewards aren't worth going out of my way to look in there in my opinion. Alright, that's it for me for now. I just let this clip with all the characters and builds run out, then show this little stat box from the Hoyo Lab website, and then come back at the end of the video. Alright, we made it to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was somewhat interesting to you and I see you back next time. Until then, have fun and bye bye.